Ever been a part of a business or a group of people that failed to do what they got together to do? You need to look at this real quick. Now, if you follow me, this is probably familiar to you. This is a body graph. If you don't follow me, what's up? This is a body graph, okay? This is an energetic blueprint of me. Specifically, this is me. The green stuff in the chart that you see is me. And the gold stuff over here is the transits or the stuff that energetically is currently up right now in the universe. Now, something super cool about human design that not a lot of people know is that you can actually use it to determine whether a business is going to fail or succeed, or rather to determine whether or not the things that are fundamental for a business to thrive and succeed are present or not. Specifically, we're looking at these channels right here, the 31.7, the 8.1, the 33.13, the 46.29, the 214, and this one right here, the 15.5. And we're going to visualize them using something incredible from the Neutrino app, the Pentatab. Up here are the gates in the throat that connect down to the gates in the G, and then the gates in the G that connect down to the gates in the sacral. And of course, we've got our players. We got our boy Spencer, Eric, myself, Kai, and Luke Graf. Everything is color coordinated, so I know that all the blues are coming from Spencer, the pinks are coming from Eric, I'm the green, Kai L is going to be the orange, and Luke is going to be the pink. It goes from oldest to youngest, and it even shows us which lines of those gates are defined. It also shows us which exaltations are locked. So we got a blue arrow here that means that Spencer Sherman is causing a forced exaltation of this gate that Luke Graf has. So now this is what a functional penta will look like. And it's true. When the five of us get together, it gets done. Now, not all pentas look like this. And this is probably, we haven't done enough research yet, but this is probably one of the biggest reason most businesses fail is because they just don't have the right arrangement of people energetically. Like a lot of this has to do with skill, but also like energetically, if you don't have, for instance, the vision or you don't have the capacity, you don't have the two or the 14, you are fucked as a business. Most businesses have these gaps. Now, these gaps are where you're going to get caught a lot. For instance, this organization, they're probably going to have a lot of business meetings around public relations or the lack of or maybe the failed planning or maybe the fact that nobody knows what the heck they're doing. Maybe that nobody's even showing up. So if you're looking at this in your business and that's you and these are your two business partners and there's a bunch of gaps in your chart, it's really scary because no matter how much energy you put into these gaps, they are never going to function properly unless you have somebody who has the eight, the seven, the two, the 46 and the 29 to fill in those gaps. You're fucked. So if you want to find out how your business looks, you have two options. You can either book a session with me or you can download the Neutrino app, plug in everybody's information, you know, like yourself, CEO and CFO, and you get to see where the gaps are. Now, certain areas like down here, you're looking just to fill in the gaps. I don't even care if the person doesn't have the skills that I need down here. I just cannot have any gaps in this lower quadrant area. Now up here, it's a little bit different. You need the skills to match with the gates appropriately. Otherwise, this whole thing's not going to function. And the whole point of this is to understand why something isn't functioning the way it's supposed to be functioning and understand as well. It's a business. OK, it's not a living human entity. It's a business. So while some things in human design transfer over, this is not going to be like awakening the chakras of your business. OK, this is going to teach you how to leverage the energy within your business, how to leverage the conditioning within your business so that your business makes money. So anyway, yeah, if that's, you know, something you care about.